Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to present to you the difference between half cell and full cell panels uh, because uh, you have the old uh, uh, technology, that's this, full cell uh, and you have this which is half cell uh, so this is the newer, this is more efficient, more expensive to make uh, but better uh, because it creates uh, possibility, for, possibility for more wattage per panel saving on installation cost and brackets and everything um, so um, this is how panels were made before and still are um, these are cheaper uh, and uh, the reason why it's so good to make this video now is, is because we can uh, view them side by side so it's very easy to see the similarities and the differences uh, both these panels are mono this is mono, this is mono. The, this is 375 watt, this is 440 watt. Um, and one of the reasons, one of the major reasons for that increased watt on these panels is the half cell structure in these panels. Uh, the reason for that is the technology how electricity is made and transferred between the cells. Uh, in the voltage and everything like that. So it's a technological improvement um, doing it like this with half cell. So that's it guys. I just wanted to make a short video explaining uh, those things. Ah, one more thing. Uh, we have also something called PERC. Uh, P-E-R-C. Uh, that means that you have another layer where electricity is created. You have that in this. So, uh, perk and the half cell structure are two reasons that these panels are more expensive. Uh, perk means that the efficiency can be increased by at least 10%, uh, which these don't have. So that's another reason why the wattage is uh, much higher in these. So, so to summarize, these are perk half cell panels, and this is full cell, single cell, um, without perk. Cheaper, but more installation cost, less efficient, and the opposite over here. Okay, guys, take it easy.